What's up everybody, SuperDorks fan here for another car review. This is of course the 2006 Volkswagen GTI. Huge thanks to Matt for hooking me up with this GTI to review for you guys today. So about the 2006 GTI, well this was the very first year of the Mark V generation and uh, you know I think that they definitely looked cooler, they were obviously larger and some people lamented the fact that they've grown and gotten heavier over the years but I think it, you know even from a look standpoint it's a huge improvement over the Mark IV and uh, just looks so much more upscale and refined and uh, yeah I mean especially in this white color being a two-door it looks very cool, it's very boxy uh, and uh, just, you know, it's a very interesting looking car. Right, so for the interior of this car, well, first thing first, uh, getting in it at the door, it's nice and heavy and solid. The whole car feels very solid, and uh, especially being a 2006 and being as old as it is, that's really a good feat on its own right. Next, though, you sit down in these seats, and uh, they're really nice. These ones are covered in leather for this uh, trim level, and uh, the bolstering on them is really nice. So the torso support, there's just a little bit of wiggle room there, but it's they're really snug. Thigh support is also really good. It's not so tight that it's uncomfortable. It's just enough, and uh, it's it's really these seats just really kind of hug you, and I like that a lot. Next is the steering wheel, which is really nice. Uh, the GTIs were the first, some of the first ones that have a somewhat flat bottom to them. This one even has the flat sides. Just a very forward thinking. Like I said, a lot of cars are now just adapting that, you know, several years later. And so um, it was really probably one of the best steering wheels of its time back in 2006. And even now it's spectacular. Really good 9 and 3 grip. 10 and 2 notches are nice and beefy and uh, nicely leather wrapped. You have a few basic buttons on it. And just a really great wheel. Next is the gauges in this car, which are uh, very simple, very attractive. You have a little uh, display in the middle there. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're very clear, easy to read. Coming along to the center of the dashboard here, uh, you know, it's uh, obviously, again, 2006, but it's not bad. So you still have, you know, satellite radio in here, and, uh, you know, it's a basic uh, kind of black and white color screen there. Um, but it looks good, you know. I mean, the only thing is some of the plastics have worn off over time, and, uh, you know, you can see some of the wear and tear on that. But I mean, otherwise, it's you know still pretty good build quality uh, you know some of the buttons are a little bit looser than I would like uh, compared to modern standards but I mean back in the day I mean these were just praised for having such high quality levels for the type of car it was and uh, it's really even still today it's a very nice interior for sure Store space in this car is also really good. So you have really large door pockets, you know, for maps, and then also even has a bottle holder in there. And then uh, coming along to the center here, you have a little hidden cubby that's uh, got a power outlet, and it's not a large size, but you can fit a few things in there. You have two cup holders, and then you have this center console here that uh, you can fit a good amount of stuff in. And uh, yeah, and this is actually nicely padded and. Uh, it's very comfortable for, you know, long drives, resting your elbow on that. It's a really well thought out interior. Backseat space in this car is actually really spacious. It's uh, better than my Mini and it's uh, got plenty of room back there. Even with the seats in the position they are now, there's several inches of legroom, probably almost a foot of legroom at least back there for rear seat occupants. So, I mean, very spacious, even this just being the two door. The four door that you can get in these as well gives you even more space. But uh, another thing while we're talking about space is trunk space in this car, which is actually really good. It's much better than the Minis and the Fiesta STs and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's not a huge amount, but it's definitely a lot better than the competition, I think. And uh, overall, it's just a very versatile package, and you can fold those rear seats down. And uh, given the boxy dimensions of the car, you can swallow up just about anything in this car. Uh, so it's great, very usable, and still a very nice interior too. All right, so start up and go for a drive. Uh, 2006 Volkswagens had the flip up key, you know, that uh, switch blade style that I always liked. I think it's really cool. And uh, so yeah, old school key still though. You just start it up and it roars to life. All right, so setting off in the 2006 Volkswagen GTI. So uh, the first thing that you notice driving this car, at least me, is the headroom is just enormous. Even with the moonroof, I mean, I'm five foot nine, but I mean, I feel like I could be seven feet tall and sit in this car no problem. It's really uh, pretty interesting because uh, you sit so low in this car. Uh, the sitting position is really low. I mean, it feels good. I'm not complaining, but it's uh, definitely different. Uh, and then uh, so. It's really quiet though for the most part. You know, driving through here, you can hear me very well and uh, it's, you know, very refined. 
and uh, feels pretty good. Another thing though that you notice right off the bat is the throws of the clutch and the shifter are both very long. So I mean, I'm like moving my leg all the way. It's like a full long workout putting the clutch in. It's not heavy though, it's just, uh, it's just very long travel. Um, again, another unique thing. Uh, shifter, uh, you know, this is a totally stock GTI, so no short shifter or anything. Uh, long throws, I don't mind long throws, though some people hate them. Uh, I have no problem with it, but just, you know, that's another thing when you first notice this, is that there's long throws. While we're just cruising down the road here, uh, the ride of this car is actually really nice. It's very communicative, so you do feel you know everything but it's not like it's jarring it's comfortable uh, and it's refined but it's definitely a little bit you know you feel things more than you would in some other cars that where it's totally isolated you can't feel anything going on this you do feel you know every little groove in the road and things like that uh, but like I said it's not a complaint it's just different all right so let's try on this back right here and see how it does <laughs> So we're dealing with a two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, does 200 horsepower, 207 foot-pounds of torque. So uh, you know, it's, it's plenty of power to get this thing up and going. And uh, there's not much in the way of sound, I'll say, but it, it does obviously pull pretty hard. And uh, yeah, now we're just hitting some corners here and uh, let's see how it handles. It handles really good. It really holds the road well. Not much body roll either. It's really the steering is a is a tad looser than I would like, um, but it's actually quite sharp. I'm pretty impressed with the steering, and it's doing exactly what I wanted to do. Throttle response is uh, not the greatest. I mean, it obviously with turbocharged cars sometimes there's a little bit of lag there, um, but it's it's you know it works pretty well. All right, coming up to some tighter corners here. Let's see how this body roll is. So, and wow, it actually handled that really well. Really, really good handling car. I'd put it right up there with the uh, Honda Civic Si and stuff like that. It's really good. I figured with this car being so tall and boxy that it would roll, but there's like no roll. It's kind of mind boggling. It's really uh, clever suspension standing by Volkswagen. This thing just does not handle like it's you know this big of a car. Not that this is huge, but just better than I expected. Alright, so let's see about this power again, shall we? <laughs> a little second gear chirp there. <laughs> It's definitely quick. It's a fun car for sure. It sounds kind of like the Mini. It kind of has that similar uh, kind of growl to it. It's very cool. One random thing not related to any of this that I just noticed whenever I was turning on to uh, the back road was uh, just how good the visibility is. Because of the tall greenhouse, the windows are huge. I mean, even the rear windows are enormous. Um, and so it's just like, really tons and tons of uh, visibility in this car it's really great the only thing that I will say though is since you're sitting so low in this car if you're not a tall person then uh, the hood and you when you're pulling in a parking spot you kind of have to peer over a tad uh, just because of how low you're sitting but that's really the only thing about visibility that I can complain about one more acceleration here Yes, sir. <laughs> Definitely plenty of power to have fun with for sure. This, this is really impressing me, this car. Like I said, I wasn't a big fan of the Mark IV, and some people were really annoyed at me for not liking that car, but this one I definitely do like a lot, lot more. I briefly drove one of these like five or six years ago, uh, but now just being able to drive one for a longer period of time, it's just, it's really a good car. Really a nice handling car. I would go so far as to say that this even handles better than the Mini. Uh, there's less body roll than the Mini, I think, even though it's a larger car and this is just it's really impressive very very impressive car anyway I'm gonna drive this car around for a while longer here and I'll come back and give you some updated impressions all right so I've been driving this car for a little while longer now and uh, it's a it's a really great car it's just it takes I don't know why the size of it keeps throwing me off it's just like 
it seems like I'm just like in a huge like space. It's kind of crazy. I feel like I can say echo and I would just hear echoes. It's just like, it's super roomy uh, compared to other hatchbacks and cars of this type, you know, all the competitors and stuff. Um, but it drives really nice. I mean, like I said, it, I, I can't really find any problem in the way the car handles and the way that it delivers power. I mean, there's torque everywhere. I think torque comes on, full torque, I think comes on 1800 RPMs or something absurdly low like that. Uh, so, I mean, <laughs> there's no issue about you know needing you know more torque or more power even I mean I can get up to speed plenty quickly uh, and uh, it's enough to get in trouble with for sure so I mean I uh, I really like this car I think it's definitely a huge improvement over the Mark IV the Mark IV to me just felt so cheap and chintzy and uh, very outdated even you know compared to, I mean this is just a huge leap forward another thing while I continually am stuck behind slow cars is the brakes work very well uh, the brakes have a pretty good feel to them even this one you know with almost 80,000 miles on it still brakes feel really good and fresh and uh, have a positive feeling to them I also have to say the more I use this gearbox the more I like it it's uh, like I said the throws are on the longer side but they're so crisp and it's really just a really nicely defined gates and everything it's just it's really a great gearbox I don't know I just kind of gotten into a really nice rhythm with it even with the long clutch throw and everything it's just I don't know it's just it just feels good. I don't. It's kind of crazy, but uh, you know, it's a lot lighter than the Mini and some of the other cars out there. It's not as light as a Honda Civic, and you know that car is famously easy to shift and uh, you know use that tiny little shifter in that car. But uh, this, it's it's really nice. I like it a lot. The more I drive this car, the more that it just impresses me with its handling and how sharp it is. It's definitely sharper in the handling department than the Mini, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm not pushing this car to ten tenths, but uh, you know. Even just in normal everyday driving this feels like it's more buttoned down I mean I would say the mini is more dramatic because of the more body roll and things like that that it has but this is just so much sharper it's just point and shoot and it just does it and uh, there's no question about it there's never any doubt in your mind you just go around corners effortlessly it's really great uh, it's just very well done uh, much better than the previous generation GTI that had cup holders that popped up in front of the stereo controls it made no sense whatsoever this one they really thought through well and uh, it just feels like every single part of it they executed perfectly they just they this fine-tuned everything just enough that it's just it's spot on um, and so yeah I mean the other way I think you can improve it is by turning off the volume a little bit you know the engine sound and all kind of stuff I think could you know bear to have more improvement it could be a lot louder I think and that could make it more exciting um, because you kind of do miss out I mean yes it's quick but you know I just there's not a whole lot of theater to it and uh, that's the only thing I can really say but I mean it's still just it gets up and goes I mean it has a sound it's not like it's totally silent uh, but you know I just like my cars to have a little more sound but it's really just it's a great car and uh, you know great for commuting uh, I think you put an exhaust on this and I don't think you'd really need to do much else in my opinion uh, it's really just great right from the factory and uh, it's really seems like it's held up well it's just a fun car so yeah huge thanks to Matt for allowing me to drive his uh, new to him Volkswagen GTI it's a really cool car and uh, I know so many of you guys have been requesting a Mark 5 GTI so I'm really glad to finally be able to review one for you guys. And uh, so yeah, that's it. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.